So for example, take this example. Suppose that I want to calculate logarithm of eight with base two in Python programming language. So first of all, I can use a package called math. So I import the math package or so-called math module. And then I simply type math dot log because I want to calculate logarithm of eight with base two. So this is the base and this is the number. So I want to calculate logarithm of eight with base two. So now if I print this and if I print this and if I run the code, you can see here is the result, which is a three, which is correct. And now let's take this example. Suppose that I want to calculate log of 81 with base three. In order to do so, that's very simple. I can pass the log of 81 with base three. So now if I run a code, you can see here is the result, which is correct. And now let's talk about how to find logarithm with base n in Python using the NumPy package. So first of all, I should import NumPy package as np. Then I simply type, for example, num stands for number. This is the number which I want to calculate logarithm. So for example, I want to calculate logarithm of eight and with base, for example, two. So that, so I define a variable, let's say called base, which is in this example, it is two. So if I want to calculate logarithm of eight with base two and NumPy, we cannot directly use the log function because the log function in the NumPy package doesn't have any arguments called base. So we cannot use it directly. In order to calculate logarithm of eight with base two in the NumPy package, so we can simply type logarithm of that number divided by np.log of base. And this is true because of the logarithm base change rule, which you can see on the screen now. So in order to calculate the log of a number with a specific base, you can use this formula. So after that, I want to print this. So if I run a code, you can see here is the results. And for example, if I change the example, and if I change this number to, for example, let's say 81, and base, and if I change the base to three, and if I run a code, you can see the result is four, which is actually correct, and you can check it with the calculator. And remember that you can use this in order to calculate the logarithm of a couple of numbers with a specific base. So for example, suppose that I want to calculate the logarithm of 81 for, and for example, let's say 97 and for example, 100 with base uh, three. So if I run a code, you can see here is the results. And also let's take another example. Suppose that our numbers are 81, eight and 100 and our bases are, for example, three, two, and 10. I mean, I want to calculate the logarithm of 81 with base three and the logarithm of eight with base two and logarithm of 100 with base 10. So if I run a code, you can see the corresponding result is four, three, two. For example, this three means the logarithm of eight with base two is a three. And for example, this four means the logarithm of 81 with base three is four. And this two means the logarithm of 100 with base 10 is two. So I would really appreciate if you liked the video. And also I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.